we have the executive vice president of Saffron Road, the creators of snacks and frozen meals from around the world. Welcome, Jack Agree. Thanks for having me. Okay, so tell us about the food. I mean, you have food, and you know we're hungry, hungry people over here. So like, hand it over and <laughs> tell us. Let's try this. Here's, <laughs> here's our uh, chickpea snacks and our uh, baked lentil chips. We also have a line of frozen entrees. That is what we launched with. is the biggest part of our company, and uh, obviously a little difficult to cook them up and have them here. Uh, but you know, this is part of our journey to better it is to have better ingredients, uh, better taste, and and to really take what. In America, we all talk about America being the melting pot, is to culturally also bring it in as well from a cuisine standpoint and bring cuisines from around the world to uh, take people on a journey with just eating at home and, and, and trying a, a new meal. Uh, that they might have had to go out to a restaurant for before. Yeah, so tell us about Saffron Road. It's evidently a, a reference to a region in the world. What what type of taste is this, is this reminding us of? So it's not one particular taste. It's a blending of cultures. So like the Silk Road is kind of, Saffron Road is kind of a play on the Silk Road of the how spices and, uh, and fabrics were traded along the Silk Road before and bringing cuisines together. So we have a lot of Indian dishes. We have Thai dishes. Uh, we we have um, Korean uh, and so forth. Chickpeas are chickpea snacks. They're part of the human diet for millennia, uh, yet people really didn't start eating them again until hummus became popular. And then we found a way to create them as a snack, make them use organic chickpeas uh, so that make sure it's a clean product and uh, make it so that people can get some protein on the go because there's six grams of protein per serving in uh, the chickpea snacks. So products for millennia, now for millennials, right, Charlie? Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> These so, are really good. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, they are yummy. good. Thank They're you. a little addictive. I'm worried I'm going to eat too many right here. <laughs> so a a bunch of celebrities like Oprah, Jennifer Lopez, and Patti LaBelle are jumping into the frozen food game, which I understand you are also a part of. Yes, absolutely. I mean, uh, the frozen entrees is, is our biggest uh segment, and we've been in the business since 2010 when we launched, uh, and we've seen this come along uh, where different celebrities get in. Now, Oprah is obviously very invested in nutrition and, and that sort of thing, but there's there's other, a lot of, you have to really be careful of what that association is, whether it's just a trade for equity, perhaps, in the company, and how involved that person might be in the company, and, and what those products really are. Look at the labels. That's why you know we like we use things like antibiotic-free protein in our meals and expeller pressed oils and so forth. Make sure our the protein is raised with care uh, and uh, only vegetarian fed. So things like that. So really dig in. Just because someone's name on it, I think most people know that's not the the end of the of the story. It's maybe just the beginning. And to make sure you look in and, and see what's in the meal and in the food that you're eating. That's what's been successful yeah, for us. Yeah, let's dig a little bit deeper into like what's actually in these food because con consumers today are very very concerned about mm -hmm. what goes into their food so how do you make sure you cater to their concerns well we when we launched back in 2010 we were the first frozen entree pretty much in the country and certainly when we launched at whole foods even in a place like whole foods we were the first frozen entree that had animal uh that our protein was raised without antibiotics was raised with care and was vegetarian fed. And you think, well, that was only 10 years ago and Whole Foods is Whole Foods, but that's something that has really come quite a, a long way. It's part of our mission is to help in any way that we can change the food supply in our in this country get antibiotics out of it because there's a, you've probably done a headline about uh, antibiotic resistance here at some point it's a big problem out there and, and getting antibiotics out of our food is important treating animals with respect is important and uh, th so those are key things using expeller pressed oils is also a, a, a very important thing for us because that means a oils have been treated naturally and not used by a chemical solvent to get the oil out of the seed or nut that they derive from. So tell us about entrepreneurship. You know, this show is about entrepreneurship and, you know, entrepreneurial journey. Tell us about your journey. How did you start this brand? So Saffron Road, I had been in the business already at that point, about 20 years. I helped. I was on the team that started uh, Terra Chips back in 1990. I'm a big fan. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was, uh, you know, that's a great. That that started in 800 square feet on the Lower East Side of New York, and uh, and grew to what it is today. Alexia Foods also frozen potatoes, sweet potato fries back in the 2000s, and Which are everywhere now. Thank yeah. you. Thank you very so much. Well. And. Um, 
So at Saffron Road, we saw the opportunity to continue on the journey to better of nutrition and bring it into another category, frozen entrees uh, and, and snacks and so forth, and, and bring it to the masses. I mean, to get back to the issue of antibiotics, we've now gotten to the point everything's moving so fast these days, whether it be in technology or in food, to go from 2010, the story I told you about being in Whole Foods, to now where you have Costco, uh, McDonald's and all these other huge companies saying they're going antibiotic free as well. So that change is happening in the food supply system and it's really important for us and for what we're eating every day and, and making sure that, uh, that it's not just a number on a package, zero fat, it's actually food that you're putting in your body and what that is and where that comes from. So tell us a little bit about your background that got you to this place. I mean, you have a long history in this space, but mm -hmm. what prepared you to be able to do this? Uh, working with people and understanding their needs. I started working very young uh, on the beach in North Carolina during the summer, and I, I started my own company when I was 16, and uh, it was just a long journey. I veered off into the entertainment business for a while, so that was very helpful with uh, Terra Chips, because Terra Chips is, was very much like an entertainment product, uh, and so it was kind of an event when people would serve it, so that experience served me well, and then it's just a very long process to learn the food business. With Terra Chips allowed us to make a lot of mistakes along the way and to learn from them because the product was so good. But now there's great resources like um, things like the Fancy Food Show where I give talks every twice a year on called The Basics to help people get into uh, the food business and to learn what all the pitfalls might be these days and to be aware of them when you're creating a plan because people have a, a lot of dreams are out there and you know we meet I meet these people all the time they have a great dream but putting that to paper and then putting that into reality is a, a lot of hard work and the more you know about it before you start investing money is really important. Okay, Jack, we're out of time, but where do we get this product? Well, certainly uh, uh, Whole Foods is a great place to find the crunchy chickpeas. Where Our uh, entrees are available nationwide at Whole Foods, at Kroger, Albertsons, Safeway, Publix, Ahold, Stop and Shop, you name it. We're, we're pretty much out there. all the stores. And we're now in uh, 4,000 Walmarts as well, so we're, we're, we're very well distributed. Well, congratulations on all your success, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. All right, bye-bye.